Okay, in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So here is the problem, we have 6 dividing by 2, dividing by 6, dividing by 2. No huge numbers, no like squares, parentheses right here, only division. Right here on the left hand side we have a lot of options A, B, C and D, so right now you can easily check your math, math knowledge, you can easily pause the video and write your answer in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment. Now what make all the difference? in the world if the order we do this problem, right? Do we do this division and okay, obviously whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And that for this I want to show you the PMDMC order, yeah? So this is the main popular order of operations in the world right here. So first of all, take a look. We have this order, we have step by step all these elements right here. So let's start with this. Let's start with parentheses, yeah? So do we have parentheses? No, I don't see any parentheses right here. Let's go with exponents. So we don't have any exponent, we don't have any squares, we don't have any cubes right here. So we don't have, we, do we have multiplication? No, we have only, only division. So only division and we don't have addition and subtraction. So with these all operations we have only, only division. And how can we solve this correctly? Because a lot of students, a lot of students solve this like that. They go with this one. They go with 6 dividing by, by 2 and dividing by 6 dividing by 2. A lot of students do this mistake. They divide 6 divided by 2 and okay this is equal to 3 and they go until the end. So they divide right here 6 dividing by 2. And right here they have like 3. Then 3 dividing by 3 is equal to 1. And this is maybe the most common mistake I've ever seen. They divide like right here and right here. But a lot of students ask me, okay, this is equal to 1, but when 1 is correct answer? And I answer them, okay, you need to put parentheses right here. If you put parentheses, you need to start with this parentheses because we have PMDMC order and you will have like this answer. You will have like 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 in first parentheses and we have parentheses the next one, the next step, this parentheses equal to 3 as well. 3 divided by 3, we'll, we're left with this 3 and this 3, we will have 1, yeah? But we don't have this option 1 and of course 1 is incorrect answer, yeah? We don't have this option. And let's try to solve this correctly. Okay, so we have 6 divided by 2 divided by 6 and dividing by 2. Okay, let's try to look at this order. We don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have multiplication, we will have only division, yeah? We don't have addition and subtraction. So, PMDMC order works from left to right and it's really good because we start with this division, so 6 dividing by 2 equal to 3 and we still have uh, this expression, dividing by 6 and dividing by 2, yeah? And then from left to right as well, so because we have still addition, we still have addition, so from left to right. So we have like 3 dividing by 6, this is 1 half. And dividing by this, by this 2, and as a result 1 half dividing by 2, this is equal to 1 over 1 over 4. And we have this option right here, we have this option, option, option D. Really interesting question and I see a lot of uh, students do this mistake. They divide 6 divided by 2 at first and they divide 6 divided by 2 as a second step, yeah? But 1 will be correct answer when you have parentheses and this is maybe the main thing right here. So you can easily check this answer in your calculator, no parentheses, no exponent and you will have your 1 over over 4. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you are struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concepts, subscribe to my channel. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you for your time. See you in the next videos.